Well, hey, YouTube. Um, this is Duke. I I just bought another car. It's car number nine. And I figured that uh, I'd try and do something I've never done before. Well, especially in a long time. I haven't even made a video in forever. Um, I bought this car, a 1984 Subaru GL 1.8 liter, five speed, two wheel drive hatchback. Bought it for $285 from a, uh, a local shop. Uh, customer brought it in. Had new CV axles, new wheel bearings, and new rear brakes put in it. They, they didn't want to pick it back up. They got another car and they just couldn't drive it anymore. Something to that description. And the shop said, okay, well, we're going to sell it. And they sold it for what they had in it in parts. Um, I've already bought a lot of parts for the car. It runs and drives, mostly. We'll get to that in a second. But I bought a bunch of parts for the car. So I gave a walk around trying to avoid the yellow jackets that seem to love the color of it, which is a nice hearing aid beige, which actually still has quite a bit of gloss to it. But um, I'm gonna video fixing this car up. Uh, I'll be able to get a couple videos out straight on ahead ahead. And maybe I can start actually doing something again with my YouTube channel. But, uh, this video here will just be an overview of what's going on with the car, what the car looks like now, and, uh, what I've done so far. Okay, got the hood popped. So we'll take a look at everything else. Um, car has, I think, 271,000 miles. Don't see where that is. Yep, 271,494 miles. Uh, the interior is nasty. The front seat has been reupholstered. The back seat has not. This seat's no longer attached to the floor. The only thing that holds it up is having the back seat down, which is destroyed. Um. Everything's actually in pretty okay shape. The dashboard is cracked badly. The center console is missing. When I got it, it didn't even have a radio. I've got a radio now. Uh, the carpet has been cut out of the floorboard over here because it gets wet. Because the windshield has some rusting through problems. Don't know if I'll be able to fix that, but I'll work on it. Um... The key operates the ignition lock, but it doesn't operate the door locks. The, uh, the rear windshield wiper was missing. I've already replaced that with one off of a wagon. Um, got that. Yeah. The rear lock was here, but uh, they, since the key doesn't open any of the doors, it didn't work in the rear lock either. And it... They had disabled the lock, the latch, and used a bungee cord to hold the door down. I instead rebuilt the lock with a bunch of springs and stuff from the local hardware store and put the rest of what used to be the cable that attached it to the pull lever next to the door. So now, yank the cable, you open the door. Foot shocks are still good. Uh, biggest glaring issue I've got so far, that's a tail light. Passenger side tail light off of this car. This is a passenger side tail light off of a sedan that has a chunk of it broken off. Somebody had a little bit of a fender bender with it. And the only tail light they could find was not only the wrong side, but the wrong body style. It's at least a super tail light though. It all does work, but I've already got a new one on order. Uh, 
Got some various engine parts here. I have some original wiper arms, some new seat tracks to fix the broken seat up front, and a new center console. I'm gonna have to, because of the gap in this, which I don't know, oh, you can't see, but I'm actually touching the back of this piece of plastic. Uh, this back section fills with water. So I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna get this cleaned out. I'm gonna show y'all how to clean out some carpet back here. And I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to, re to uh, refresh these plastics. Because they're pretty awful. At least bring the color back to them. Um, they're actually, even though they have the colors faded out of them, they're in pretty good shape. I also need to uh, redo the headliner, which I don't know if I've ever shown how to redo a headliner before, but I'm actually pretty good at it. The, uh, the rear suspension is, is comical at best. So we're gonna have to find some shocks for that. I'm gonna... Not gonna be that big of a deal. Get working, on, get working on it. Stupid yellow jackets. I don't know why they like this thing so much. Somebody tried to tow it by the front bumper. Pretty got a new front bumper. Show y'all how to replace that. Front suspension's actually in a lot better shape. Pretty sure they replaced it at some point. Um, here's the engine. It don't work exactly right, but uh, works well enough. I gotta pour some gas in it and I'll start it for y'all. Okay, before I start it, let me explain the main engine problems. Um, this car has a one barrel Carter Weber carburetor that's computer controlled. It's like a feedback carb. That thing is iffy at best. The choke doesn't work. When I first bought the car, I had to stick a pin in it to get it home to hold the choke open because uh, it would flood out and not run. But uh, now uh, I replaced the, the intake manifold gaskets and replaced some hardware on the carburetor where the throttle plate was trying to separate from the bowl. Uh, which I think I need to replace the gasket between the two because somebody had just instead of tightening it down had covered it with um, What's that stuff? It's uh, RTV Coated it in RTV and put new screws in it and it still came apart uh, They're apparently known for for separating uh, the Car would drive it would idle at two grand or it would come to a stop sign and it would die Uh Massive vacuum leak. And now I've got the carburetor put it back together correctly. The uh, idle mixture screw doesn't do anything. Um, it only runs when it's choked, which is all the time because somebody has pulled one of the springs out of the choke and it it's had a very bad rebuild on the carb. Uh, it's just... I, I went and got another carb that was in worse shape but it has a working choke. And I've gotten the uh, workshop manual for the, the carb coming either today or tomorrow. So I can understand how the, the carburetor works. Unfortunately though, the rebuild kit for this carburetor, which is a Carter TYF, is $173. Which, if you remember from earlier in the video, that's most of what I paid for this car. It's a good hefty chunk of it. Two thirds almost. Um, and I'm not doing that. But I did find out an 85 Jeep Cherokee has a very similar kit and I can use, I need the top bowl gasket and I'll just cut new gaskets for the uh, middle part. I think I can make that work. Um, but uh, let's start it up. It's cold right now. So it's going to start and run just fine. Not even gonna pump it because the choke's stuck on. There's no need to press the pedal at all. Turn the radio off. Get a little bit of gas. Thank you. 
It's running pretty good right now. It does need a, um, uh, the valves adjusted, which I think is part of the reason the car doesn't work well when it's warm, is the, the valve adjustment is so bad. Hey, look at these little buggers, what are you doing up there? Hey, buddy. The valve adjustment's really, really bad. Um, like right now it's running on three cylinders. It'll start running on four for a little while. It's got new plugs and plugs and wires and such. Good throttle response though. Need to get in there and clean the idle circuit out, I think, too. Uh, that's pretty much it with the engine. Also, the oil gauge does not work. I knocked the cable loose before somebody mentions anything. It does actually have rather good oil pressure. Oh my god, there's a lot of bees. Well, we're safe in the car, so it doesn't really matter. Where are they coming from? Jesus. Whoa, that's a lot of bees. Okay, uh, one moment. I started the car and drove it away from the, <laughs> from the danger. Uh, other things are going on. Yeah, oil gauge does work. Oil pressure is good. It sits about 50 and idle. Um, cooling fan doesn't work for itself. Got this. Heater works. Works pretty good. Doesn't have AC. Wasn't optioned for it. Super put all the stuff here. And there's an evaporator in the dashboard but there's no AC components elsewhere. Uh, whoa. Some point, might work on that. Don't know. Started having a car in Georgia with no, with no air conditioning. But, uh, I think that's everything for right now. Now, that idle, you can hear how unhappy the, the valves are. Thanks for watching. Hope to have at least the bumper video up soon. Might just do front facelift.